Welcome to Cinema Stories. In this video we review the story about Tamil cinema, and Theron. This translation title is Robot. This film starts with scientist, Dr. K. Visigaran creates a stylish humanoid robot, with the help of his assistants, Shiva and Ravi, to commission it into the Indian Army. The robot named R2, brings flower bouquet, sent by Sana, who is Visigaran's girlfriend. She is a medical student. Attempted many times to see Visigaran, in his busy work he avoids Sana. Visigaran programs it like, dancing, self-defense, identifying objects, cooking, and configures roadmaps and so on so. He gives shape like himself. After completing his work, he decides that, socialize the robot with the outside world, and studies how his intellect and abilities amongst humans living like them. Once he ensure that all, then take him for approval. Then he takes robot to his house. He introduces to his parents. The robot was named Chitty, by Visigaran's mother. When she give wrong instruction, Chitty breaks TV. Later Visigaran instructs Chitty to drive car and go to barber shop. Where, shopkeeper offers some magazines for reading. Chitty scans and reads all book, then asks more books. Shopkeeper gives telephone directory. Chitty scans this too. One customer tells his name and asks his number. Chitty tells his number. Another customer tells his number and asks his name. Chitty tells his name. All were wondering. Then he meets Sana, asks apologies for his avoidance during his busy work. Later, at a robotics conference in Chennai, he introduces robot Chitty and speaks his abilities. Professor Bora asks the configuration details about robot Chitty. Then secretly asks about neural schema mechanism. Chitty tells, this is highly confidential, so not discloses. Professor Bora meets Mr. Perminger, he is an arms dealer, and Mr. Shah, a dealer agent. They request Bora that, many terrorist organizations that want to use robots instead using humans, to spread terror and suicide squads. Bora shows his model, and aggress and sign a contract to supply 100 robots and get advance payment. Professor Bora, at his laboratory, he tests his robot. It does not follow his commands and doing wrong. Sana brings Chitty to her home. Chitty itself cooks, cleans house and arranges things. While she were preparing for exams, neighbor sets high volume music. Sana asks them to reduce volume that boys are refuses Sana. Chitty understands music system work with infrared signals, so it increases high volume more than that system produce. Everything is collapsed. Later, in local village festival, they set high volume of sound. Here too Chitty off this sound system. They were try to assault Chitty. It triggers magnet mode to attracts their weapons. Next day Chitty tells answers for her examination by wireless transceiver. Two professors find and inquires Chitty. It discloses that he is answering for examination. Both bring Chitty to examination hall. Sana acts as, he is an unknown person. They send Chitty out. Then Chitty projects answers to Sana from roof. They return to home by train, to take revenge. Group of thugs came to her compartment and throw Sana's handbag. Chitty suddenly jumps out of the train and takes her handbag. While they are harassing Sana, Chitty came and fighting with them. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe our channel for more videos and movies. Meanwhile battery got down and Chitty cannot fight. They thrown Chitty out of the train. Chitty charges itself and again come and defeats them. Visigaran prepares Chitty for an evaluation by the Artificial Intelligence Research and Development Institute, which is lead by Bora. He aims to reject his approval, so, during the evaluation, Professor Bora continually give commands to Chitty, suddenly told to kill Visigaran. Chitty attempts to stab Visigaran at Bora's command which convinces the evaluation committee that the robot is a liability and cannot be used for military purposes. When returned to his laboratory he sees a burning building and commands Chitty to rescue people from fire. When, the robot Chitty entering into fire, dress and skin was burning, Chitty saves most of them, including a girl. She was bathing at the time, but she is ashamed at present seen naked on camera. Though Visigaran puts his coat around her, and the girl's mother tries to convince her to come back, the girl run away, only to be hit and killed by a truck. 
Professor Bora uses this situation and demands Visegarin to end up this operation. And advice to sell this robot to some other companies then try to make money. Visegarin asks for one month to modify Chitty's neural schema to enable it to understand human behavior and emotions. Then, Visegarin teaches about human behavior and emotions to Chitty and change some neural schema. Robot Chitty studies books about feelings and emotions. While nearing the deadline, Visegarin feels that Chitty yet not get feelings and emotions, so he scolds Chitty. Now Chitty becomes angry with Visegarin and replies that, Visegarin's disability and fault to make him to feel. Sana understands that, Chitty got angry with Visegarin. Chitty is demonstrating to him that it can manifest emotions. Sana's sister Latha admitted in hospital for birth baby. Doctor says this is critical to give birth. Chitty uses his knowledge to successfully help Latha give birth to a child. Chitty advances romantic feelings for Sana after she congratulates Chitty by kissing it. Bora congratulates Visegarin on the achievement and says Visegarin that problems start from now on. Late at night, Chitty develops feels about Sana, went to meet Sana at her home. While she is sleeping, a mosquito on her cheek. Chitty tries to catch mosquito. She wakes up. Chitty demands her to give kiss. She says to bring that mosquito, which bites her. Chitty search and chase that mosquito and brings to her. She gives kiss. Chitty likes this feelings and fall in love with Sana. Arms dealer, Mr. Perminger, and Mr. Shaw, came to meet Bora, because he did not supply robots which they gave order. They set deadline date to supply robots and, they threaten to kill him, if he fails. During Sana's birthday party, Chitty dance with Sana and tries to kiss her. When Visegarin and Sana realize this, Visegarin explains to Chitty that they love each other and they get marriage soon. Sana also explains to Chitty that they are only friends. Saddened by Sana's rejection, yet still in love with her, Bora appears front of Chitty and pollutes him. Bora states that his feelings with Sana is correct, and Visegarin plan to use Chitty for machinery work if he pass an evaluation. The following day, Chitty intentionally tells poetry about Sana and fails the evaluation conducted by the Indian Army. Frustrated with Chitty's performance in the evaluation, Visegarin axes Chitty into pieces, which are dumped by Shiva and Ravi into a landfill site. Bora visits the site to retrieve Chitty, which has now reassembled itself, albeit in a damaged state. Chitty asks Bora to take him to Bora's house, not knowing that the person who had been searching for him was Bora himself. After this, Bora takes Chitty's neural schema and reconfigures with destruction program. Now, Shiva and Ravi joined with Bora, who embeds a red chip inside Chitty while reconstructing it, converting it into version 2.0, which is more aggressive and ruthless. It then gatecrashes Visegarin and Sana's wedding, kidnaps Sana and fights off numerous policemen on the way who chase it. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe our channel for more videos and movies. Feel free to hit comments. Later, police find robbery in many places in city. Police chase a robot and demolish it. Then Visegarin discovers that the robot was not Chitty, which he was created. Visegarin suspects Bora and went to his laboratory with police officers. Here, they found Bora's dead body. Then they watch camera footage. They come to understand that Chitty creates copies of itself as soldiers and terminators using Bora's robots. Bora threatens Chitty to stop its activities, otherwise he kills Sana. Other robots arrest Bora. Chitty kills Bora for attempting to kill Sana. Chitty using its robot army. Chitty occupies Artificial Intelligence Research and Development Institute and causes confusion in the city. After telling Sana that it has developed the human capability to reproduce, Chitty demands to marry her subsequently that a robot and a human being can give birth to a pre-programmed child. But Sana refuses. The seeker in disguise as robot and uses the robot's ID early they demolish. He enters into Research and Development Institute, finds Sana, initially she did not believe. He tore his hand and shows his blood, then she believes him. The seeker in instructs electricity board officers that, to disconnect power supply, as soon as, some robots get battery down and stops itself. Chitty and other robots came out to charge itself from vehicles. 
Later Chitty has seen blood, conforms that belongs to Vajigaran. Assembles all robots. Chitty follows some tricks to find Vasigaran. Finally it commands its robots to rotate heads. It eventually finds Vasigaran, and nearly kills him just before the police appear. Vasigaran escapes with Sana. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe our channel for more videos and movies. Feel free to hit comments. The ensuing battle between Chitty's robot army and the police personnel leads to a lot of property destruction and many casualties. While fighting the police personnel and the army, Chitty and his robots attack in various formations like a sphere, a snake, a wall and a large human-like figure. Vasigaran eventually captures Chitty using a magnetic wall and accesses its internal control panel, whereby he instructs all the other robots to self-destruct. He then removes Chitty's red chip, calming it down. In a court hearing, Vasigaran is punished to death for the sufferers and damages caused by the robot army, but Chitty clarifies that it was Bora who initiated its deviant behavior and shows the court video footage of Bora mounting the red chip. The court releases Vasigaran, while ordering that Chitty be dismantled. Left with no choice, Vasigaran asks Chitty to dismantle itself. While saying goodbye, Chitty asks for forgiveness to Vasigaran, Sana and their families, before dismantling itself. The movie setting then shifts to 2030. Chitty is now a museum exhibit. A curious school student on an excursion trip asks her teacher why it was dismantled, to which Chitty responds, I started thinking, thank you for watching this video. Subscribe our channel for more movies. Feel free to hit comments. See you on next movie.